the grade four math practice test for TN Ready. Question number 21. Of all Jan's socks, one sixth are blue. So we're dealing with a situation where, and you're going to have to lie to yourself and pretend like these are actual equal size spaces. I know that they're not. In fact, that one's just such a bad first attempt that I'm going to give it a little bit of a better try. It's not going to be good, but better than nothing. Okay, so we have six, one sixth of them are blue. The rest of her socks are red or white. Which expression could represent the fraction of Jan's socks that are red or white? So we'll do kind of stripes through a little bit and anything that has the stripes that could be red or white, we don't know what, because it doesn't actually ask that question. It just wants to know what fraction represents this group, red or white. So in order to determine that, we can just count one, two, three, four, five. So my answer should get me to five sixths. What I need to do is find an addition problem that can lead to five sixths. Now, if you recall, when you add or subtract, incidentally, fractions, if they have a common denominator, and all of these do, six is always the denominator, so the number on the bottom, then all you do is keep that denominator and add or subtract the numerators. That would be the numbers on top. So we're looking to get it to be 5 sixths, so let's look at each individually. For this one, 1 plus 1, so it's 2 sixths, so that doesn't work. This actually reduces to 1 third, but no need to worry about that now, because it's just not what we're looking for. 6 plus 1 would be 7 sixths. This is actually more than 1, because we have a 6 out of 6 in it, so you'd end up with 1 and 1 sixth, but again, doesn't matter, that's out. 3 plus 3 is 6 out of 6, which is just one whole. No, nope, that's not it either. So 3 plus 2 is 5 sixths. So this is my answer. Again, this is not a super difficult question. The hard part about this question is reading and actually answering the question that they're asking for. They're telling you this information that one-sixth of the socks are blue, and they say the rest. So you know that you've broken everything up into groups of six, so we need to have five-sixths because that's what's left over. And if you wanted to do one minus one-sixth and get to five-sixths, that's fine. Whatever you can do is okay. I just drew the little graph thingy or this terrible drawing simply because of the fact that um, it was easy for me to see. That's five out of six that I need to reach. And then it's as simple as knowing that when you are adding or subtracting fractions, you keep the denominator and then operate, add or subtract onto the numerator. So that's it.